Hello, this is Mark O'Brien from Scalar, and I'd like to talk to you about the parse command in Power Queries. But first, I'd like to talk to you about parsing in general at Scalar. Scalar offers very robust parsing functionality for log ingestion. You can define parsers for each of your log streams that take the free text that come in during log ingestion and parses that into structured data that then gets stored in our NoSQL columnar database. This unlocks functionality like being able to facet down by certain attributes on the search page, or being able to graph on certain attributes, or trigger alerts off of them. It's our best practice for you to get your parsers in as great a shape as possible so that you have all the data that you need when working within Scalar. We even offer to help you with this as well. There's an ask us to edit for you button on the parsers page and we encourage you to take advantage of that. So we want you to get your parsers working so that your data is parsed effectively, but we understand that in the real world, that doesn't always work out that way especially when things change or circumstances occur that you didn't anticipate when building the parsers. And you can certainly update your parsers so that new data coming in will be parsed, but since parsers only run during ingestion, that doesn't work retroactively. However, with Power Queries, you can parse old data that's already been ingested. So this is a great way for you to be able to work with data that was ingested and maybe you didn't extract the fields that you needed uh, during ingestion. So we're going to take a look here at an, at an example of a, of a log line that has some data in it that didn't get parsed. I'm looking here at a set of image conversion lines where I've got a size and a time value. And you'll notice if I look at my facets over here, I don't really see anything that maps to time uh, or size. And if I inspect the log lines, I might expect to see a field up here that correlates with uh, size and or time. I don't see those. So I'm working with a log line here that didn't get parsed effectively. So now I'm going to flip over into Power Queries and show you how I can parse this within a Power Query. I'm going to use the parse command, and uh, here is the statement that I'm going to use to parse. I'm doing a very simple uh, parse here. I'm just going to match on text so I can see that the number of bytes here is contained between the word processed and bytes. I'm going to use the dollar sign as the delimiter, and I'm going to take the text here and I'm going to put it into a column called bytes. Similarly, for the time value, I'm looking for the text that appears between in and ms. And again, I'm going to put that in the time column. So when I run this query, you'll see now I get a representation where each one of these rows is a single log line representing a single image conversion. But now I've extracted the bytes value and the time value. Now that I have these values available to me, I can do math on them or other operations. So let's say I wanted to calculate the throughput in kilobytes per second. Well, all I need to do is uh, I'm going to let KB per second. So this is a new column I'm defining. Uh, I'm going to convert from bytes into KB, and then I'm going to divide that whole thing by time. Since I'm dividing by a variable here, I want to just check and make sure I don't get any division by zero issues. So I'm going to go ahead and filter out. So I'm only looking at log lines where time is greater than zero. Now when I run this, I get a new column called KB per second. So now I've got the throughput for each one of these transactions. And let's say I want to just get some summary statistics across this entire data set. So I'm going to use a group command. You'll notice I don't have any by value. So in other examples, we've been grouping by URI path, etc. If I don't use any, any value here, uh, I'm just going to get one summary for my entire data set. And I'm going to create a bunch of columns here. I'm going to do a count of all of the uh, conversions that are represented from uh, this data set. I'm going to do a sum of the number of bytes divided by 1024. So that's a sum of kilobytes. And I'm going to put that in the total KB field. I'm going to get the median of kilobytes per second so that I can get my median performance value. And I'm going to look at my lowest, my min KB per second value. And that's going to tell me my slowest performing transaction. So when I run this now, I get one log line or one, uh, one row in my table that shows me the summary values across this entire data set. So I hope this is helpful. You can see I used a very straightforward text-based match for the parse. We do have the ability to do more complex parsing, so we can match on regular expressions, etc. Take a look at our documentation for more information about that. But I hope you found this useful, and I bet you have some data in your logs that maybe isn't being parsed exactly the way you like. So I challenge you to take a look uh, and use this function to uh, parse the data, and then go back and update your parsers, of course. Thank you so much.